Hello, this is High Templar with a new episode of my Total War Warhammer DLCs. And today we'll be doing analysis of the stream that was released with Vurzak, the, the Great Green Prophet. So there was a very little warning for this, but today the Creative Assembly um, tweeted that they will be showing this, they will be doing a Twitch stream of the campaign for Vurzak and that was actually very awesome. I mean, we knew that it will happen, we just didn't know what uh, which legendary lord will be shown, but there was very little, little warning and we were able to see it. If you haven't seen it, it will be probably pop up at some point on the internet. Right now I wasn't able to um, download it but or watch it, but I can I, I did watch it so I can tell you what it was and this is actually quite interesting and this is actually something very important. So this is Vurzak, we know already this page, he has some abilities and we know that he actually makes your entire army here. When unlocked the Fury of the Prophet entire army is imbued with magical attacks. So very scary against ghosts and, and, in, and those units. If it's also working in multiplayer, well that's also very scary. For, for some of the new dwarf units and for some of the uh, basically vampire cancer units who also have this eteral um, skill. So we also have uh, that he's boosting savage orcs in his army with the physical resistance and charge bonus statistics and he uh, enjoys major reduction for usual cops for savage orcs units. Now this major reduction is actually 50% at this point. Let that sink in. Right now, all Savage Orcs unit for this guy is at 50% upkeep, which is pretty crazy. With the additional physical resistance charge bonuses, there is no reason for you to have any other unit in the army, really. Then we have that opposing wizards have increased miscast chance that he carries uh, Enfek and Dagit. We haven't actually seen how it works and his war paint is more powerful. We also don't know how much powerful it is, but we know that he will receive three new units for Chaos, which is awesome. We do like new content and I, I can show you their statistics and we also seen something very interesting in his in his battle, in his quest battle, we've seen exploding squeaks. So how cool is that? The squeaks just, they come to you and they explode. Actually in tabletop most of the squeaks do explode, but that's not the point. So yeah, let's dive into that. So he actually leads uh, Bloody Hand tribes. Uh, I've seen from the Switch, if I remember this correctly, that was actually red hand on white on white shield so that was slightly different but he starts here so you are not leading the green skin tribes the green skin tribes is all also there the grim gore is there the any other way to get the grim gore is to confederate with him so if you confederate you get all the army you get also the le legendary lords there is some dispute whether the legendary lords received from, from in this way will be immortal. I mean, they will be just wounded or, or they will die. But it seems that they will be immortal, the same as in normal game. So it makes sense for you to start recruiting, to start confederating with green skins only when they receive also Azag. So if they have both Grimgor and Azak, so you can have three legendary lords. And it seems that confederating is not that problematic, but that might be a lot more problematic on higher difficulty levels. So this is very different from the Grim and Grave, because in Grim and Grave you just can get all the four, um, all four legendary lords for vampires and three legendary lords for the Empire. Here it's much more problematic, especially because Skarsnix will also will be in Crooked Moon Tribe. And at the same time, Crookmoon tribe doesn't start in the eight uh, peaks. They actually start 
all the way up north in the West Grey Mountains, I believe it's called. So, and the tribe that is in Eight Peaks are actually rebe rebellious Gids. So, yeah, those those guys who rebelled against Carsnicks, basically. So yeah, this is this is quite interesting, and you also starting with the savage orc army, and you can start smash around the badlands, which will be even more interesting when we will see the Tomb Kings DLC and expanding this to the south. Now for the interesting things that we have here. We start with Bayful Mask, we also have a, screen, a Spleen Reaper already here at rank 12, so this is quite soon. And also interestingly enough, we have uh, all those spells, like Gaze of Morgue, everything, Earthling, already you just need to unlock Power Drain and then all the spells are available to you. So this is different from normal when you only get like those four and then you have to get another one, get another one and get there. So you will be able to get all those spells, which is very cool. Then this is pretty normal, I haven't seen anything, you know, important. This is obviously something from the stream and I this is chaos units that we will be getting and these are aspiring champions, which is pretty interesting if you if you look here there is only 16 of those guys and they only have health of 2800 basic 2900 basically so that's very very low they do have magical attack of 46 and defense of 62 nice weapon strength charge bonus and armor and they do have vanguard deployment all in all i do not believe those guys will be a thing they are just too weak and that's just it, they are just weaker than Chosen. There is not too many of them, they do have Vanguard Deployment and Magical Attack, but yeah, I, they are not that powerful because there is only 16 of them and they do have limited health. Then we have Chaos Marauders. And this is quite uh, interesting. Those guys are actually uh, Marauders Horse Masters, they are upgraded version of Chaos Marauders and you can see their cost, it's actually 100 more than your Axe Throwers. They don't have, they do not have uh, armor piercing damage, but their damage is 37 with 16 ammunition and rage 80. So that is quite much, that is like really really a lot. At the same time, they do have very decent stats for the cab, and they do have charge bonus of 22, and they do have armor. They actually have armor of 50. So this is quite interesting, and it's slightly, slightly um, slower than other murders, probably because of the armor, but uh, all in all, very interesting cab unit. And then we have Chaos Feral Man Manticore, which is basically Manticore that flies alone without a master. And as you can see, it has decent health, armor only 45, that would be a problem, any archer unit will be able to take them out quite easily, high weapon strength but without armor piercing, and very high charge bonus. So cycle charging this thing will be a key, and also very high speed of 85. So Chaos will have some flyer units and they do need some flying units, although the champions exalted uh, exalted he heroes with the on, on the Manticores were pretty good. But without healing potion, this is an alternative basically. And that might be all actually that might be a valid alternative because they only cost 1000. Going to the next we have uh, new maps so this is something they built and you can see that they are actually want to play against uh, those guys will be playing against uh, Wurzak so this is like I said this is a white shield white background red hand and yeah these are bloody hands and we also will see some new maps actually six new maps that will be coming 
like this mushroom cave which those guys will be playing the battle and those guys will be on the stream they've tested those manticores and those riders and aspiring champions and as you can see aspiring champions are actually very cheap still with low they are actually very cheap unit that have like very low health but they are hard hitting but only 16 of them i don't know i'm just puzzled about those guys would have to be tested really lost vault of king loon is another is another map and this is most likely the map that will that we will see in belegar iron hammer quests but like i said there are six different maps these are the aspiring champions uh, i am extremely sorry for the quality but i wasn't able to get a better one this is a high quality for the stream as you know streaming is not well you cannot always get perfect view but this is actually taking place in the mushroom cave and those like aspiring champions will look like or you know from from the very close you can see all those skulls and those guys those guys wielding uh, shields and uh, swords that those guys actually looks pretty cool and this is the marauder uh, horse masters with the huge javelins and the feral manticores which looks well like manticores basically and you can also see how the how the portraits in the decent quality how the portraits would look like now this is uh, the shroom cave i wanted to just show you two screenshots that they revealed to us so um another interesting thing that happened in the stream they were actually doing a quest battle for the Wurzak and as you can see now they are playing savage orcs they have all savage orc army except for those spider riders and uh, and those big ones right but most of it is actually um, yeah there are a few non savage units here but this is uh, sopa queen this is a war beast this is only a single model they have some health and when they get to you they explode and that's quite an explosion actually like two of them can take out the unit of well at least those got into those uh, spider riders and i believe single explosion took half of their health so that's quite potent but mat might be not much of armor piercing there but it can be very powerful for the sav against savage orcs obviously and yeah maybe just maybe we will be able to see those units later on as a recruitables so far those guys only told us those uh, those sopa squeaks will only be in this quest and this is uh, something else that I wanted to show you. This is actually what the what was available on Total War official Twitch and also the Twitter. So basically, they will be showing us some cool streams on the 3 p.m. on well, one was today, but we will also see one on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So it will be some quest battles and roster and some cam campaigns and roster showcase and also finally something for Belegar Ironheart which we actually already seen the quest battle now we will see the campaign so we will probably see here more of the same we will however see this giant squig gobla in the action and that might be very very interesting indeed we will also see how the Belegars will start how those eternal units will work we haven't seen them much in their quest battle maybe we'll be able to see them in campaign so yeah this is pretty much it i hope you like it if you did press like comment if you will and see my other videos my dlc and dlc speculation videos my um, analysis videos my mechanics videos and my let's plays in total war series but also different games thank you for watching see you later